It's called soybeans. Yeah. Have you ever jumped in a vat of soybeans before? Yeah, it's a very strange. It feels like you're a kind of kid in one of those playgrounds where you jump around in a pit full of colored plastic balls. Except soybeans are a lot smaller than those balls on the playground, and I guess they don't have all those colors in them either. Yeah. Well, anyway, I went over to his grandparents' farm, and he decided to take me over for a tour of the farmhouse. The cows were smelly. I made a point to keep his, my distance from them, and I kept calling to the cows, saying, Hello, moo cow. And then there, there was a bunch of cats running around the field, so we picked up a couple of cats and held them at the waist high in the air, and I kept asking them, do you love me? And he kept asking me why I wanted validation and approval from the cats. Then he gave them some milk for, from his uncle's farmhouse, and then he took me to the, up the ladder to the top floor of the barn. That's when I proceeded to take off his shoes and jump over onto a ledge. He told me to just join him. I couldn't quite see what it was about to jump into. I mean, it was almost dusk, dusk, but I took off my shoes and socks and jumped in anyway. And my ankles sunk into the soybeans, and I started laughing. And I fell, and I almost started to bury myself in soybeans. And then I jumped around a few more times, and then I just started throwing soybeans at them. And then I just laid down in the pit of soybeans for a while. They felt cool on my skin. I could feel the dust from them covering my legs and my calves. There are times like this, times when I just have to let go.